Hello again, Doc on the Clock with more Mega Maker Madness! Continuing on with Mega Man F Resurrection Smoke Man! So I am tangentially aware that uh, there are multiple demos of Mega Man F that have floated around over the uh, historic of history. Yes, the historic of history. My uh, words did not go well. What I'm trying to get across is that um, I know that uh, Nuthouse is trying to use materials from uh, the various demos to uh, emulate these stages. So they're not completely invented out of nothing for the most part. But uh, I'm sure that there's still a fair bit of uh, a fair bit of invention going on, just because probably they want full stage. Just cu I am kind of curious to know how much is actually out there. There were several demos with each of them having just like one stage or two stages or something like that. Uh, I don't know how many of them are actually accessible anywhere. I, I found a total of one, so... Oh, this scares me. Oh, jeez, that's a jump. That's a head bonker. It's like, you're going to bonk your head on that little uh, outcropping there, and it's going to kill your sideways momentum, and you're going to fall into the abyss. Okay, I can use the health. I have a dog to support me. Endeavors. Perfect bank shot. Nope, oh, that was unnecessary. That little, uh, that little shot is just like, what are you doing, man? That's the, literally the only reason I exist. Those, uh, those guys just, just did not line up well at all. There we go. I was, like, thinking that there had to be a checkpoint sometime soon. Use all of that Even though it's probably the uh, next boss is uh, this boss's weakness, so I really shouldn't be. Now that one I did have to because there was no way it was going to come back in time. Hey, we've got crushers. I think these are actually called presses, but they're crushers as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, fired too early. Ooh. There's a lot. There's a lot of instant death in these stages. Very deadly. It makes me very nervous because there's a fairly significant risk of running into it at any given moment. 
Whoa! There's also a risk of running into not so instant death, but uh, I always have that problem. Checkpoint two! Haven't died yet. Is that going to change here? Those chains are very odd. <laughs> the presses disappear into the ether. Then they just come back. Kind of randomly because uh, the chains look like they just vanish. I hey, can't think too hard about these things because then it doesn't make any sense and your brain breaks. Ooh, hey. We get through the, another one of these stages without a dime. Not a bad performance all over. <coughs> There's the Spark Man. Seems like he'd be more in place with his magpulse, man. Rather than that guy who gives me freeze balls. It's such an inefficient weapon, but it's so much fun. Wow, that went super well. Like, these aren't, like, super easy stages, but the last couple have not been that bad. I imagine there would be a little bit more uh, trickiness to them if you did not have the, uh, all your weapons and utilities with you. Which, you know, some people who play these legitimately might not have them. But, you know, I'm just, I'm just here to have fun. <coughs> yeah, I'm not sure. The Forest of Pain. This might go poorly, but I'll give it a shot. <laughs> oh, hey, we're playing this role. has not been painful so far, just extremely inundated with flying bullets. Feels like more like the forest of Mega Man 1 so far. This is like all Mega Man 1 enemies all the time. Ow! Hitboxes are sometimes nonsensical. A non Mega Man 1 Sniper Joe. How about that? <coughs> of course, I think that's because Mega Man 1 Sniper Joe isn't actually in this game, but. Probably a good thing because Mega Man 1 Sniper Joe is by far the most painful. Well, that was several unnecessary music transitions. Ow, chickens! Wouldn't it have been better to stay rolling? 
No, it would not have, because I couldn't have done that at that point. So far, this floor just really isn't that painful. Also not, like, painless, but... It's not like it's, uh, super mean or anything. It's just a whole bunch of, uh, random enemies thrown all over the place, really. That feels even more noticeable in this, uh, particular area. We have gone inside somewhere. And now we have Pump Man's music in this stage that is very not Pump Man. Oh, jeez. We're also no longer in a forest. We've gone to outer space. Somehow, some way, some reason. That did not work so well. Timing? Oh, what is the timing on that? I didn't have too much health left anyway, so. Not a big deal. Ah, it seems like it should work, but it just keeps not working, so... I don't know if I can make that jump as it is, though. That's four tiles. It's four tiles, but it's a pain. The, the problem is, I think that pain is something that is actually intended. Trying to line up four tile jumps with Roll is even worse than it is with uh, any of the other characters. the ask. Over here it gets easier because things can be lined up properly. That was very strange. going on here? What's going on here is I don't want to have the broom charge. Ooh, that rolling dodge was very effective. 
I did do the checkpoint. The checkpoint did not appear initially. Okay. Well, that takes care of my last little concern there. Okay, well, it was mildly painful. Mostly just the four tile jump, but. There was a little bit of pain. <sighs> Problem is, aside from one or two clever subs, most of that was just enemy spam the stage. I'm I'm just short of giving it a thumbs up. I feel like this would be a very annoying stage for some people. So, a little bit short. It's not a terrible stage. It doesn't get a thumbs down. It's just not quite good enough to meet my uh, level. Anyway, that's all for me for now. Until next time, this is Doc. I'll see you later.